now let's see about finally block in exception handling finally block is always executed when there is an exception or uh, no exception we can have finally block after the try and catch uh, let's see this example uh, name of the class is finally uh, let name of the class is demo on finally so demo finally uh, public static void main string orgs uh, we know that execution of a program starts from the main method uh, next int af is equal to new int of 2 so for two elements the memory is allocated uh, that means for a of 0 and a of 1 the memory is allocated next here we have a try block uh, we know the advantage of a try block try block contains a list of statements that may generate an exception if there is an exception in the try block then throw keyword throws that exception object to the corresponding catch block so here we have a statement like this system dot out dot println a of 4 is equal to plus a of 4 but here the memory is allocated for only two elements but here we are trying to access a of 4 so what will happen now uh, throw keyword throws array index out of bound exception to the corresponding catch block <coughs> so this is nothing but an exception so throw keyword throws exception to catch block that handles array index out of bounds exception so now this object e contains that array index out of bounds exception object okay so here we have a statement in the catch block system dot out dot print ln e so here what is the output now array index out of bounds exception class is available in java dot lang package so this is the output java dot lang dot array index out of bounds exception array index out of bounds exception so this line will be printed as the output here this line won't print okay why because in this line we have an exception so throw keyword throws that array index out of bound exception object to this catch block so catch block contains a list of statements that handles the exception so the catch block is executed and after executing the catch block control goes to the finally block finally block always gets executed if there is an exception or no exception in this example we have an exception in the try block so throw keyword throws that exception to catch block next to catch block gets executed so this is the output we got next after the catch block we have a finally block so this finally block will be executed now a of 1 is equal to 30 here there is no problem for a of 1 for a of 1 the memory is allocated here memory is allocated the first here memory is allocated for the first two, two elements such as a of 0 and a of 1 so a of 1 is equal to 30 next to system dot out dot print in, a of 1 is equal to plus a of 1 so a of 1 is equal to so what is the value we initialized 30 so 30 will be printed next after executing the finally block if there are any other statements then those to, uh, then those statements will be executed so system dot out dot print in, end of the program so end of program so this line will also gets printed okay so this is the output for this program uh, now let us do one modification uh, instead of a of 4 uh, let us write the statement a of 0 is equal to plus a of 0 and uh, now let's observe what is the output for this program okay uh, we know that execution will start from the main method uh, here the memory is allocated for two elements a of 0 and a of 1 uh, next to try block will be executed try block contains a statement called system dot out dot print a of 0 is equal to plus a of 0 here for a of 0 and for a of 1 the memory is allocated so a of 0 is equal to what is the statement now uh, here we didn't perform initialization so initially by default zeros will be stored so a of 0 is equal to 0 will be printed here there is no exception in the try block if there is no exception in the try block then the control goes to the next statement after the catch block there is no exception in the try block so control goes to the next statement after the catch block 
so what is the next statement after the catch block we have finally here so finally block will gets executed now so finally block is always executed when there is an exception or no exception in the previous program we don't have any exception whereas if you make this modification we don't have uh, any exception now so that uh, this block will gets executed so f1 is equal to 30 so what is f1 that t will be printed next end of program this message will be printed so this is the advantage of finally so the body of the finally will always gets executed if there is an exception or no exception so this is about finally block in, in the exception handling